the South Indian state of Kerala is famous for its beaches and overall quality of life. Year after year, it ranks as one of the country's healthiest and most progressive. And so, it is no surprise that thousands of people here have opted to manage their own food waste and convert it into fuel. Meet A. Saji Das, the person who made it possible. He spent the last 25 years developing biogas plants to convert food and other organic waste into fuel. Through Biotech, an NGO that he founded in 1994, Das has sold and installed more than 22,000 domestic biogas plants in Kerala. All other renewable energy have their own role, but especially in bioenergy, the main advantage of bioenergy is Everybody can be a part of this technology because wherever peoples are there, their waste is generated. Since 1985, Das, who has a master's in sociology, has been working closely with engineers to modify existing biogas digesters that use cow manure as raw material. The goal was to replace cow dung with food and human waste. Renewable energy have a very good future, especially in bioenergy, because now people are more aware about the advantage of this system. Not only environment benefit, they have their own benefits also. This is how it works. Leftovers and other solid and liquid food waste are collected, mixed together, and then poured into the inlet chamber. The waste then flows into the digester where it is fermented. As the matter is broken down, it releases methane, which is then stored in an airtight container above the digester. The gas is then piped into the house and onto the cooking stove. This is Ashokan Chetiar at his home in the Kerala state capital, Trivandrum. He had a biogas domestic plant installed in his backyard several months ago and is now trying to convince his friends and neighbors to do the same. It's very good uh, because uh, it is environment friendly. Always uh, we have to collect it uh, in a bucket and uh, wait for uh, somebody to come and collect. Until it, uh, it will decay from it. That's why we can dispose immediately inside this and uh, convert into gas and use for cooking. It has cut down his home consumption of liquid petroleum gas or LPG for cooking by almost half. Subsidized by the federal government, a domestic plant will cost anywhere between $200 to $450. The return on investment is two to three years. Now, just like any home appliances, anybody can buy it and put it in the home. Just like a refrigerator or something like that. Apart from the domestic plants, another 230 largest size institutional plants have been installed at orphanages, schools, municipal buildings and markets in the state. At this biogas plant in Korangeri, Kerala, which Das helped develop, two tons of waste is dumped into the digester every day. And this in turn generates enough gas to be converted into 10 kilowatt of electricity, which powers 300 street lamps. It is one of the best uh, plants in Kerala as well as the uh, whole country. So we are encouraging people uh, to implement such plants in their panchayat also. The cost of a large biogas plant like this one is about $120,000. It's subsidized by federal and local governments. The federal subsidy is based on the amount of power that's generated, about $900 per kilowatt of electricity. This smart waste management system is slowly gaining ground. Biotech is currently installing a large plant in the state of Tamil Nadu and will soon expand to the state of Karnataka. There are already biotech domestic plants installed in Sweden, Denmark and Malaysia. I have a sweet dream. Tomorrow or in the near future, everybody can be a part of this system through the adoption of their own waste treatment system. We can convert this houses and institution into a small powerhouse through the generation of their own energy from the waste.